What's up everyone, Koi51 here, time for a long overdue video, again I'm really sorry I haven't been filming anything, but I am alive, sorts, I think university is a lot more than I could chew at the moment, but I'll try to sneak in a video once in a while, but uh, thanks to my friend at uh, JB Hi-Fi, I think you know who you are, um, I love you but I also hate you at the same time, um, he managed to hook me up with the limited edition of Project Zero, Fatal Frame if you're in America by the way. And I wanted to unbox it. I thought, you know, I haven't done one of these videos in a while. And, uh, you know, I wanted to open it up first time with you guys to see what's in it. So I'm actually, the only things I know what are in the box are the things on the description. But I actually want to kind of take a look at it and show you guys like just pretty much everything that's in this box. So at the top here shows you what's in it. You got the Wii U game, you got the Steel Book. Uh, software case, so I'm assuming you've got two, two, two cases. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat, actually. Um, an art book, which I'm really excited for. Uh, spirit photographs. Now, hmm, when was the last time you got something that's even unique like this? But pretty cool. And a double-sided poster. Awesome. Uh, let's just look at the back. Uh, let's see what's in here. Explore a haunted mountain, and. Banish evil spirits, uh, peer into the depths and behold fear itself, explore the chilling Mount Hikami and wield the camera obscura to fend off aggressive ghosts. The Wii U gamepad is the camera obscura, frame your shots with inch perfect precision with instinctive movements. I feel like that's a lie, but ah, that's fine. Uh, again, here's the details, just offline, <laughs> didn't expect it to be multiplayer anyway. I think the last one on the Wii had like multiplayer, but it was something like some like uh, theme park roller coastery ride mode where one person was uh, playing the game and the other person was like pushing buttons to make scares and stuff like that. It was pretty uh, strange, but uh, I was there. So of course, compatible controllers. One required the gamepad. Nothing else matters. Uh, let's see. Uh, Koi Tecmo. I love you, but also I'm not sure. Both languages, that's pretty cool. Uh, software can be used on the Wii U, not the Wii console. Um, perfect, okay, and yeah, you know, got the cover art. It's MA15 Plus. Uh, it's the European version, Australian, actually. So, let's, let's open it up and check what's inside. Huh. Let's see. Yes, I am using one hand for this, so bear with me. Uh, let's see. Let's get this out first. What is this? Ah, this is the. Uh, the poster, so I want to leave that to the side actually and take a look at something else. So, got the game, uh, the game cover, um, pretty much the same as the box from the looks of things, so nothing strange there. But actually, I'm a bit surprised, there's actually less detail on like less information on the back of the game box than I actually thought. I thought like they show a little bit more, but I guess you've got the all the cast characters and the main character. Uh, pretty much the same. Uh, Wii U gamepad, camera obscura. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm excited just because most games don't have, don't really use the Wii U gamepad as much. So it's actually kind of refreshing to actually finally use my gamepad for some reason. Um, you know, it's not like I'm gonna play Smash on my gamepad anytime soon. Even though I do sometimes when I'm in bed, being lazy. So, let's take a look at us. And this is the steel, well, pretty much the hard cover, um, steel box of the same game, Project Zero. Wow! Okay. That's pretty cool artwork, actually. I'm not sure why that surprised me at first, but pretty cool. Pretty creepy. Um, nothing in the box. Another monster from looks of things. And there. Actually, I should open up this box actually. What kind of, what kind of unboxing is this? Got the uh, the game. I'm gonna rotate it really gently. Pretty cool. Nice, nice disc. No complaints there. Now let's take a look at. What else is in here? And we have the art book. It's pretty, it's actually pretty well made. It kind of reminds me of the, um, of the Metal Gear one. 
the Metal Gear art book that came with the uh, Legacy Collection. Pretty much feels like the same build quality. Nice. Uh, let's actually take a look at this uh, sneak peek of the artwork. Uh, you know, pretty, pretty standard. A lot of cool, just sort of looks like concept art and imagery. Just gonna skim through it. Ah, cool. Has some cool character designs. This is cool. I like art books that give character designs because you actually it actually gives you a little bit of history with the game. It's pretty cool. Got Miyu. Got Ren. Ryu. Not that Ryu. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty nice. Got some scenery art. Some characters might be a bit spoilery, but, but I will just put that back. Um, so that's pretty much is all in the box, honestly. It's a nice box, and it's pretty much the first run copies of the game. Um, I am fully aware of the censorship of the game uh, for the Western localization, but if you're gonna hear my thoughts on it, I best just say it now. I'm okay with this in a way. Because, well, think of it this way. When was the last time Koei Tecmo had a chance to pretty much put in costumes or handle a character? That's right, Metroid Alpha M. We all know how that turned out. So having them, pretty much Nintendo saying, okay, no bikini girls, okay? We, no, no bikini girls, Koei Tecmo. But we're going to give you the chance to put in Zelda and uh, Zero Suit Samus in the game. That's okay, right? And I'm like, and they're probably like, oh, okay, that's that's fine, you know. At least our game will come out. And I'm okay with those costumes. Love it. I actually prefer those costumes more than the bikinis. I think I get enough of that from Dead or Alive. So yeah. So the only thing I haven't shown is the posters and the spirit photographs. So I may as well just do that now, real quickly. Uh, so this poster, just having a feel of it. Pretty, it's pretty um paper. It's not like it's not like fake. You know, like you know when you get like sometimes prints and like they're pretty, you know, cheap. Like they feel like paper. This one actually feels kind of got like a pretty good material on it. It's still paper, but it seems more thicker. Um, it's really hard to open this with one hand. So I'm just gonna look at the spirit photos. Um, they're in a <laughs> they're in an envelope. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool actually. Um, I'm not sure. Wow, getting these with one hand is really difficult. Oh, jeez. Just, just slide them out. I'm really trying not to, you know, wreck these photos. Uh, not sure, I'm guessing that's the company that did the envelope. Not important, I'm just going to shove that in the box. But, got some pretty cool photos here. These look like probably important scenes from the game, I'm assuming. These look really, really ominous. <laughs> but uh, cool nonetheless, cool little piece of merch. Oh, that's old. That's Japanese. <laughs> I don't know Japanese. Maybe I should get someone to translate it for me. All this. Yeah, it's a lot of Japanese, but cool. Cool nonetheless, nice little addition to an otherwise pretty normal box. No soundtrack, which is pretty surprising. I actually assumed that there'd be a soundtrack, but uh, I can't really get this poster. Try. Okay. It's definitely two-sided, and it's got pretty much art, so um, really hard to do that. As you can see, I'm recording the audio from there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's um, that's everything in the uh, the box, and that's cool. I like. It's, it's a bonus, you know, like you're buying the game anyway, it's a bonus. Um, uh, my suggestion is if you really want to try it out, I've, I hear the demo does a few chapters in, and but if you're going to go physical, you're not missing out. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck. It's really nice, a nice little collection. Uh, yeah, so um, stay tuned. I might play a little bit of it and record my first experiences with it. it uh, I don't feel it's scary. I've played one, a little bit of one, a little bit of two. Um, four didn't really put me on edge, maybe when I was younger, but that's all. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've filmed any videos, but hopefully now that uni's starting to wind down, I can go back to recording. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy Project Zero, Maiden of the Blackwater.
Oh, Fatal Frame, if you're in America. Anyway, peace out. Have a good one. I'll probably make more of these once I get more games. Enjoy!